some of the key terms that come in capital budgeting are essentially net present value or NPV, payback period, discounted payback period, IRR or internal rate of return and profitability index, PI. Fine, we will take these one by one. Net present value, so the concept here or the background of this entire capital budgeting topic is that a firm wants to decide, firms want to decide whether they want to take a project or not. So to take a project or not, this is what the firm is deciding. Now how do you decide whether you want to take a project or not? You effectively expect a certain return from the project. If you are not getting that return, you will not take it. How do you know whether you are getting that return or not? Is where concepts like NPV, IRR, payback period and discounted payback period come into the question. Fine. So that's where we come to. If we have a series of cash flows, I'm sure we are all aware of this from the project, the present value of these cash flows discounted at the required rate of return is called the NPV. Fine. The rate which makes your net present value zero is called the internal rate of return. Effectively, IRR is the maximum return that you can generate from a project. Any return greater than this will turn your NPV negative, which means you are losing money on this project. It doesn't make sense to take up this project. Fine. So let's try and solve a question on this and then it will clear doubts in our head as to what NPV is. So what you see on an Excel file is a project which entails an investment of $5,000 today. It pays back $3,000 after the first year. It pays back $2,000 after the second year and another $2,000 after the third year. The required rate of return, which is the discount rate to be used in these cash flows, is 10%. We have to figure out the NPV. Now, what will be the NPV? It is just the discounted cash flow and the sum. 1 plus R plus 2000 by 1 plus R square plus 2000 in the third year by 1 plus R cube. R here is going to be equal to your so this will give you the total present value of the cash flows you will generate out of it. Subtract 5000 from this minus 5000 which you have already put in and you will get a sense of whether you are making money on this project or not. Correct? So that's what we are trying to solve. R is given as 10%. Let's try and solve for this. So what we will do in Excel is effectively put the formula for calculation of the discounted cash flows. So effectively I take the cash flow and discount it by 1 plus the rate which is 10% to the power the year. Fine. Just to keep the rate fixed I will freeze the rate and I calculate the numbers and I can calculate it here as well. So the first cash flow gets discounted at 1 plus r to the power 0 which is equal to 1 the denominator becomes 1 so because this is happening at time 0 it's minus 5000 the present value of this 3000 is 2727 the present value of this 2000 is 1653 present value of this 2000 is 1503 NPV is equal to the sum of all these present values so I just add up all the present values including the outflow that I have done the negative sign shows the investment in the project NPV is positive which means I invested 5000 and ended up making some money on that 5000. That means I should accept this project. That means I should accept this project. If on the contrary I wanted a 20% rate of return, you will note that NPV now drops down to 46 from 883. I still accept because it is positive. But if I now change this to 25%, NPV becomes negative which means I am losing money on this project, I should reject it. Fine. So that's the set of discussion in terms of what should be the net present value of this. I can calculate the IRR using a formula called IRR with all these set of cash flows. 
which we get at 20.64. If you just remember, at 20% we were getting this at $46 effectively. Something higher than 20% is the maximum return that we can make here. The moment the discount rate crosses this, we should effectively have a negative return on the project. So the return on the project will be equal to zero at the IRR. So this 20.64 is effectively the maximum return that this project or this set of cash flows can generate. IRR for a project is the maximum return that that set of cash flows can generate. Fine. Let's go back to our initial set of assumptions. So we put in 10%. Now as a manager, your task is to figure out how quickly will you get your money back. So one way to look at it is I spent 5000. When do I get my 5000 back in terms of absolute cash flows? So I get 3000 here. I get 2000 here. So at the end of the second year, I would have recovered my money. Correct? If I don't discount it, I just take a standard number. I put in 5000 and I got my 5000 out after the first two years. So effectively, my payback period is just equal to two years. If it is between two years, it is linear interpolation. Fine. So if I had said something like, for example, 1500 here and 1500 here at the end of the second year the cash flows would have been equal to this plus this and at the end of the third year they would have been 4500 plus 1500 which is 6000 in this case the discount the payback period the normal payback period is going to be equal to two years and one third of the third year which is four months so effectively 28 months is going to be the discount is going to be the payback period in reality however we are more concerned about the present value of these cash flows so effectively we have to look at the discounted payback period if i discount each of these cash flows in today's terms how many years will i effectively take for that all we need to do is take a cumulative discounted cash flow number which is nothing but minus 5000 plus 2727 this number plus 1653 this number plus 1503 so you find that in terms of discounted payback period or discounted cash flows I am not making money for the first two years I will make money somewhere between these years correct now between the second and the third year I make 1503 so I make 1503 in the entire third year we want to find out in how much time during the third year do I make 620 so that's again a linear interpolation I will effectively divide 620 by 1503 so if I make 1503 dollars in the entire year I will make 620 dollars in 0.412 years effectively remember these are all discounted to present value so it doesn't matter we can directly take a linear interpolation this is in present value terms correct so discounted payback period in this case would become 2 plus 0.41 which is 2.41 years that's the concept of discounted payback period obviously because you are using present value of the terms the cash flows will come at a later point of time because the value of each subsequent cash flow will become smaller fine so that's the discounted payback period what is profitability index it's just one of those terms that has been created out of the entire text profitability index is 1 plus NPV by initial investment so what is NPV here 883 initial investment is 5000 if you have a profitability index greater than 1 you accept the project if you have this lesser than 1 you reject the project so let's look at calculation of this and then we will know this relationship automatically so this number would be equal to 1 plus 
883 divided by negative of this minus 5000 since we have already taken the 5000 number. So we get the profitability index as 1.18. Since this is greater than 1, we accept it. If I turn off this turn, increase this discount rate to 25%, you will see profitability index goes below 1. This is rejection point for a project.